Welcome to our Kanye West versus Kendrick Lamar bracket. This is the first time that we ever do a bracket of two rappers going head to head. 32 songs, only one song can win by the end of it. And last time that we did a Kanye West bracket, we asked you guys for 10k likes and you guys smashed it, getting that goal done within one week. And we're going to ask you guys again for 10,000 likes on this one. And if it's your first time watching a bracket, make sure to smash that subscribe button. But Ant, how do you feel about this, bro? It's the first time we ever do this. What are your expectations? I think it's going to go well. Honestly, there's a lot of crazy matchups for today. And talking about matchups, let's start off with round one. The first matchup in round one is Mad City versus Devil in a new dress. You know, just a, a crazy matchup because I'm even looking at this and I don't even know where I'm going to go right now, if I'm being honest with you. I think we're going to make a lot of people upset with this one. Like, no matter which way we end up going, like 50% of people are going to be pissed. Um, but regardless of that, I feel like even when you're looking at, like, peak Rick Ross is rapping... It's not holding a candle to Kendrick's rapping whatsoever. So, like, rapping performance-wise, it's Matt no, we City. know where that's going. Production-wise, yeah, though, it's Devil in a New Dress. It is. So, But the thing is, is that you could also argue that the production on Matt City is just as dynamic, let's say, as the one on Devil in a New Dress, mm. especially with the whole beat switch going on, the manic know. energy, then going into the, the guitar the solo by Mike Dean. That's the thing. that This one's really hard. And, and honestly, honestly I, me, I, don't even, I don't even have, like, let's say, a standout There's on this also one. more synergy, in my opinion, between Ye and Rosé compared to Kendrick and MC Ite. I mean, both collaborations are fantastic. Yeah, but, I get it. Um, no, but that MC Ite feature is incredible. It is. It is, for sure. But, I mean, you're getting... A high octane rap banger versus like pure luxury rap. And to be honest with you, like again, I like the the mix of G rap and trap on, on Matt City, but ultimately I think Devil in a New Dress is more of the timeless song. That's where I'm gonna go. I know it's more tough of, to say. More of the timeless song. No, I don't know. Not more of the timeless song, but I think we're gonna go with Devil in a New Dress. You agree? If you guys watched our last bracket, <laughs> this was a big, big, big competitor in that whole place. So Devil in a New Dress is gonna be advancing. Wow. But let's go on to the next one. Two remixes. Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe remix with Jay-Z and Diamonds from Sierra Leone remix with Jay-Z. So we wanted to have a little matchup here where, you know, both remixes on icon like iconic albums, excuse me and both have jay-z features where are you going with this and by one? the way just to let you guys know we decided not to go with like kendrick's top 16 and kanye's top 16 and have them go head to head the idea was to really choose some of their best songs but have really cool matchups as we go throughout it so with this one two remixes um it's tough bro. i like the fact that kendrick challenged himself and like created almost a whole new song with his remix adding new verses that was super dope but i will say this though i feel like the remix is better on diamonds from sarah oh, it's, it's a better song bro like that, that james bond theme song like uh the, come on bro and I the, the jay-z features better on diamonds as well Th that's i'm not a true. businessman i'm a businessman come Absolutely. on Absolutely, you're getting quotables on there but let's come keep on. going on with this dna versus so that's two kanye's right away yeah but i don't know i'm looking at some of these matchups and i think kendrick's gonna get a couple dna of versus black skinhead i mean Kendrick spazzed out on this song. He's like a rhyming engine, bro. Like, he does not, like, stop. I think the rapping performance is better on DNA in comparison to Kanye West on Black Skinhead. I prefer the production on DNA in comparison to Black Skinhead as well. No, I prefer the production on Black Skinhead. Oh, no, I those, don't know. Those punchy the, snares, the, the hi-hats. The, the time warping sounds. I'm not sure. Listen, I'm going to go DNA with better this Better production on Black Skinhead for me for that drum pattern. But ultimately, um, yeah, just Kendrick is just giving you verbal assault, bro, on that song. And him tying it back to his roots and all that. Yeah, it's, it's DNA easy. No, it's absolutely DNA. Next up, though, this is... A, this is a tough one. This is one like just like the Mad City versus Devil New Dress, where I'm coming into this not having a single fucking clue where I'm going. It's Duckworth versus St. Pablo, two of their most acclaimed outros of their careers. Um, we could have gone with Last Call on this one, but we we thought that St. Pablo would be more fitting and would be a better matchup. Overall, listen, I think when you look at both of the songs, they're both super impressive. I love how Kanye gets super personal on St. Pablo. Um, I love the Sampa feature. The production is incredible. It's arguably the best, like, modern Kanye West song of this, like, let's say, you know, stretch that he's been on since 2016. But the writing on Duckworth is too strong. It's a masterpiece. I, I think look. I think St. Pablo might be a top 10 Kanye West song. Like, I, I really do yeah, but I could also value make that, it that I, I high. Can make, I, I can make the argument that Duckworth is a top 10 Kanye West song. Like, uh, not Kanye West, Kendrick Lamar's song. Bro, the thing the, the about... The writing, is, the writing is so pivotal, too, to the way that the album connects together. It is legitimately one of the best outros I've ever heard on any hip-hop album of all time. And Ninth Wonder, bro, like, three sample flips coming from the three different countries... 
covering three different genres across three different generations, covering a song about Kendrick's life that involves three different people. Like, the way it all connects, it's a masterpiece. It is. It's, 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 it's the better song. It, I, I didn't know I was going to come down to that, but it is. It it's is. Just too strong of a song. Okay, next up, we have All Right versus Jesus Walks. Two anthems. Yeah, both about the rappers putting their trust and faith into God. Absolutely. Um. Both going against the grain in the system and both talking about, you know, being rebellious and being kind of like set on their own path and trying to help their people um, through religion. And, you know, it's an incredible anthem on both ends of these. And to be honest with you, like I could go either way with this one. And I was really advocating for Jesus Walks last recording. But again, I think I'm going all right with this. one. Yeah, I think it has to be all right. I mean, Jesus Walks was revolutionary for having like a religious song go mainstream in hip hop. That was big. But Ultimately, all right ha matches the cultural impact and sonically is more impressive to me. There we go. So, so you see, I listen, agree. Kendrick is Kendrick's making, now making the push. The Kendrick's tides are turning. The, there we go. And we okay. haven't disagreed once here. There we go. Okay, Savior versus Praise God. This one's incredible because uh, both obviously have religious, you know, content matter. Both feature Baby Keem. Absolutely. Uh, both on really recent albums from both of them. So we felt like it would be fitting. Probably one of the biggest bangers off of Mr. Morale as well with Savior. I want to ask you this: What do you think is the be the better Baby Keem performance on Savior? But but Savior, it's so minimal. It's just like, bitch, are you happy for me? Yeah, but it's Smile just the way that face. it feels so triumphant. I think that... Yeah, it's very minimal. That's all I'm saying. It's minimal, but I, I don't always look at like... How big, how how, lengthy. Like how, how big or lengthy yeah. it is in comparison. You know, like obviously in certain situations, it trumps it out. But I'm just saying that I've kind of heard like a Baby Keem feature before on Praise God, if I'm being honest with you. It's not necessarily the most spectacular feature from Baby Keem. Praise God is one of the biggest bangers off of the album. Like, I don't want to look at the Baby Keem feature and then decide where I'm going based on that, if you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, and I also feel like Savior is way more like crucial as a song in Kendrick's career. It's kind of a continuation of Stan, right? Like talking about not following idols and the dangers of following your idols. Like, it's a super important song, covers a lot of interesting shit. Yeah, I think it's Savior. Again, I think it's going to be Savior. Again. Wow, my goodness. Here we go, ladies right. and gentlemen. Kanye, listen, Kanye versus Kendrick. So far, Kendrick is making a bit of a sweeper here. I'm not going to lie to you. Kendrick's well, kind of stomping on him right absolutely. now in this bracket. But, but listen, but. I think this next one, I know where we're both going. It's Poetic Justice versus Love Lock. I don't uh, think so, bro. Where are you going? I'm going Love Lockdown. Oh, really? I'm I thought you were going to go Poetic no, Justice. I'm going Love Lockdown. Because when, we when we were making these matchups, we didn't say where we were going, but like you were almost hinting that you were going to go Poetic Justice. No, I wasn't hinting. I try to like throw you curveballs because ah. then the, the recordings don't get interesting, you know? Uh, but regardless, with this one, it's so cool because, you know, obviously two melodic songs within their cut, obviously talking about, you know, romance and love and, you know, how that affects their lives. You could argue that the verses are probably better on Poetic Justice, but overall, as a whole, Love Lockdown is one of the best Kanye songs I've ever heard. Yeah, that main melody in the chorus is just beautiful. It's fucking um, incredible. The production has been really influential. We're seeing people like Baby Keem sort of rework it. Like, um, yeah, incredible song. It's it's Love Lockdown, it's for sure. It's gotta cool. be. Yeah, okay. um, next cool. up, though, this is a very interesting matchup. It's Untitled 07 versus I Thought About Killing You. Two overlooked songs in both of their catalogs. Both of them are very sort of all over the place. And dark and ominous. Yeah, they're very mysterious songs too yeah. for the catalog as well. There's a kind of a tension in the air within both of these tracks itself. Um, fuck, because again, like, it's if it's rap and performance strictly, you look at Kendrick, but, you know, the lead and into like the second half of I Thought About Killing You is so sick. It's so suspenseful. Like, you don't know when it's going to happen and when that drop's going to come through. Yeah, it's you like know? a super like unstable song with the vocal pitch switch-ups, like the production switch-up, but... He's kind of just talking for half the song, if we're being real. Yeah, and I have to knock down a few points. Why do you knock down points for that? It's one of the best I, I songs on like, the album. I feel like with Untitled 07, like, bro, you are locked in from the beginning, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, And also, like, it's an eight-minute epic, and I don't think that Kanye could do anything to top Pimp Pimp Hooray, bro. Could he top <laughs> that? I don't think so. Oh, fuck it. All right. I guess so. Yeah, Untitled 07. Look, look here, listen. Untitled 07 might make a little bit of a push here, by the you way. think so? I think so. I don't absolutely. think it's going to go that far. Maybe like one more round it gets. <laughs> okay, Money Mostly. Trees versus No More Parties yeah, in LA. Yeah, this is side B right yeah, now. Yeah, um, crazy matchup. Crazy matchup. The question becomes Kendrick versus Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick That's what versus we were looking Kendrick. at here. Oh, the better the better performance from Kendrick's on Money Trees. It is. I mean, it it's maybe like less lyrically complex, but I mean, it's, him, it's him painting the picture of like, Doing what he has to do for survival in Compton. But do you prefer the J Rock feature over the Kendrick? Yeah, feature? fuck yeah. So the feature, okay. Like J Rock on this song is like the definition of like rapping like the rent is due. Absolutely. Bro. You know what I mean? Um, um, I, it's money trees. It's money easily. trees easy. Let me ask you has like all the TikTok popularity around the song weighted me? down? No. No, no way. 
Yeah. Well, has it for you? No, but people complain about that shit, and I'm like, just enjoy the fucking music. Stay off TikTok. No, I mean, if listen, it's there's, there's, yeah, but there's much. there's certain ones where I'm not necessarily like. Oh, there's the, songs that will grow off you because of it. But th- this one, it's impossible. Like it's yeah. my childhood. There's no way. Yeah. I All right, let's that. keep going on with this. Humble versus Stronger, two big anthems. Um, actually, I believe ESPN had this both in their top ten list. Actually, right for I think it was for like stadium songs for stadium or something songs. like that. Massive stadium anthems in both of their catalogs. Um, but I don't think you're gonna get a better stadium anthem than Stronger here. Okay. Oh, you scared me for a sec. I thought you were going the other way. Yeah. No, no the Daft Punk production. Like it's it's a it's a better song. Yeah, I think it's a better song overall. And uh, yeah, I just think. Kanye's charm wins me over. But next up, we have ADHD versus Spaceship. These are two beloved songs that both came at the start of their careers. Um, I know Spaceship is your favorite Kanye song. Like so, a personal favorite of mine, yeah. Um, is that going to trump it just on that fact alone? Or like, what are you looking at here? Uh, what am I looking at here? That's a great question. Put the bias know. aside. Put the bias aside. I mean, how could I go against ADHD, though? <laughs> no, you can't go against I, Spaceship, I, bro. I'm just fucking with you. It's got to be Spaceship. Yeah, Come on. But- it's, I, I, but it's, it's like, not as easy as as you're making it seem right now. ADHD also holds a very special place in my heart too. Oh, me, for me, for me as well. It's the first song that made me discover Kendrick. It's just when I'm looking at Spaceship, like this is inspirational hip hop at its finest. Um, the hook is better in my opinion. Um, production. I, I, this is like a good representation of what Kanye could do when it comes to a soul sample and executing that to perfection. Um, yeah, bro. It, it's it's got to be Spaceship. All right, Spaceship's going to go through. Okay, next one. Two major intros. Wesley's Theory on Tip of a Butterfly and Dark Fantasy on MBDTF. Um, I listen, as much as I love Dark Fantasy, and you know how much I love this song and I've expressed it, just get Wesley's Theory in there. Yeah, There's I, no I don't got to say anything. I think this is a bit of an, of an easy one. I think the only thing Dark Fantasy, you could argue, has over it is the hook. That's really it. Yeah. But I mean, Wesley's Theory is not really a song to even like, you're, you're, you're all worried about the hook when it comes to Wesley's Theory. You don't give a fuck theory. about it, yeah. absolutely. Um, but all right, let's move on. Next up, King Kunta versus Can't Tell Me Nothing. Um, two confident, braggadocious bangers, you could say. Um, Kendrick kind of on like, I'm the king of hip hop type shit. And then you have Kanye making an anthem for like his own freedom and treading his own path in life. Um, production is more captivating on Can't Tell Me Nothing. The performance to me is more exciting as well from Kanye. It's arguably his best ever song and his most exciting song. Can't tell me nothing's going to be there. We go. Through. I have no problem with this, bro. Bro, hey, we, we, we have not brought this to Nick in like 14 rounds. This, this might be like a, might be a fucking a, record for th- us. There's no marriage counseling today. Don't worry, bro. No, I got right. you. Okay, Rigor Mortis versus Two Words. Two songs early in their catalogs that really display lyrical excellence. Um, overall, though, like you're not touching Rigor Mortis, bro. The, the, the speeds at which he's there. Rapping we go. At, we spoke hey, too th- soon. Nah. The first disagreement. It had to come. Nah, no way. It had to come. It's two yeah. words, bro. I mean, even from a production, I know it's two words. It's on the it's on the fucking bracket. But I mean, at the end of the day, the, the rapping performances by no one on two words could even touch what Kendrick did. Crazy, bro! Do not hear most deaf, and even I the, did. even the fact that you have most deaf Kanye and Freeway all using the same rhyme scheme of either having two words or two syllables per bar. It's genius, bro. It is genius, but at the end Come of the on. day, it's not passing. Rick Production's Mortis. also better. The mix of like. Hip hop, ah, soul, no, and and rock with the waving no, guitar. You, the, the, the Come horns on, behind Rigor Mortis and the fast paced tempo, the production. No, I don't think. All right, think there we go, a... Nick. What are you saying, brother? No. This is what we're gonna do, boys. All right, Let's keep it simple. We're gonna take two words and get it out of here because Rigor gonna... Mortis is. All right. absolutely. Come all on, right. bro. Uh, but you you were really trying to gun bro, for that. Bro, you asked me in a TikTok like, what do I think is Kanye's best collaboration ever? And I said two words. Like, you don't realize how much I value the song. All right. It's fine. crazy. That's fine. That's cool. Um, but all right. Next up, we have Father Time versus Hey Mama. So we got a dad song versus a mom song. Um, both super personal. Um, very introspective. Play on the emotions for the listener. Yeah. But ultimately, hey I, I think Hey Mama like, just hits a bit deeper, bro. That's a beautiful ballad. Th- that is a beautiful ballad. It hits me deep. Uh, yeah, you know? no, for sure. It resonates. Def- yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I, I love what, what Kendrick did, like just rapping about like, his dad making him be more competitive, having daddy issues, flipping the narrative of like women having daddy issues to men having daddy issues. Like concept wise, loved it. But Absolutely. I think Hey Mama is just a bit more powerful. But next up, last matchup of the first round, the hard part five versus the life of the party. Um, we started off with a huge matchup. We're ending off with a huge matchup for this round. These both ranked in like the upper echelon of our end of the year lists yeah. for their respective years. 
So there's okay. Listen, let me look here because at the end of the day, it's going to come down to Andre 3K versus Kendrick. That, that's where I think it's at. That's where I think it that, is. That's where I think it it's is. at. The production's automatically going to the hard part five. Oh, easy. The, the, the production's automatically going to the hard part five. But, but who had a better rapping performance between Kendrick, let's say, on the hard part five versus Andre 3K on Life of the Party? It's Kendrick's for me. Yeah, it's automatically. It's really Kendrick. yeah. Just the, the perspective shifting. I mean, him sort of. Saying that, like, you know, all that he's done has been for his community and, like, representing them, being the voice, him summing that all up into one song, the Marvin Gaye sample, like, th th there's more There's more to it, to me. Yeah, okay, all right. What then, about you? No, listen, you seem a bit been, surprised, though. No, because honestly, I could have gone anywhere with this. Both of these songs end up, ended up making, like, a push in my end of the year list, so yeah. I have no problem going with the hard part five. I had a number two in my 2022 ranking so yeah all right that's going to complete round one let's move into round two so let's see how tricky this gets th now. this is going to get a bit tricky okay but the first one this one should be easy devil and new dress versus diamonds from sarah leone um that's the first matchup for round two Did you make an argument for diamonds in this category no, not really i don't even want to make an argument for yeah it. it would be disrespectful better, better feature yeah, but, but even at that like there's there's technically no song that should be able to trump this one on kanye's end because it won our yeah, bracket. That's fast. Yeah, ju just by pure logic. So I think that this is really going to make a heavy push. But this one's a big one because we have DNA versus Duckworth as the second matchup. It depends what you like, man. If you like song concepts, you're going Duckworth. If you like rapping performances, you're going DNA. But at the same time, there is a song concept of DNA. And there like, is a song concept. It's of still DNA, yeah, absolutely. it's still deeply rooted. But I mean, like the, the guy's rapping about like his birth being like the immaculate conception. Like it's. There, there, there's a concept. By the there. way, if you guys are asking where Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst, it did not, like, that just would have been, it would have yeah, ripped It would have right? destroyed everything <laughs> in, in sight, bro. It <laughs> just like, I, I, it all. I should have started the YouTube video, ended the YouTube <laughs> yeah. video right after that. Literally, so. the, the quickest bracket of all time is what it turned out to be. Um, but ultimately, what about how much a dollar cost? You think that would have made a similar push? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe fear, fear would have done the same thing. Oh probably. yeah, no, because with me, like, how am I, how am I reasonably gonna put anything above it? No, but even for myself, like, it, it's better than most Kanye songs. It, it is. Would it be the best song in his catalog? Is it better than a devil? <sighs> it I don't is. Know. Yeah, for sure. It, it could be argued. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, anyways, don't know. Uh, regardless, uh, though, yeah, DNA, DNA versus, versus Duckworth. Duckworth. It, it's Duckworth for me. One of the best stories we've ever heard in the genre. So okay, we'll do Duckworth you on agree? this one. Yeah, that's gonna be the first right. matchup for round three. That's gonna yeah, be yeah. So next one. up, we now have. All right, going up against Savior. That's this is easy. an easier one. This is yeah, an easy one. it's yeah, gonna yeah. be all right for sure. How is the song age for you? Do you often go back to it? All right. I mean, it's one of those songs where like I won't like single it out, but I'll play it in like when I'm when I'm spinning T pap. I'll, I'll there just, we go. I'll yeah, let it run. yeah. What yeah, about you? It. Same shit. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, saxophone on. All on right. That song. So this is Beautiful. the first. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the second half right after this matchup. Um, this is gonna be Love Lockdown versus Untitled 07. Um, this is another easy one for me. I think I'm going Love Lockdown on this. I'm one. going Love Lockdown too. Yeah, okay, yeah, I thought yeah. you were gonna go the other way. Okay. No, 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 no. The, for sure not because you can't. As much as I love Untitled 07, and you can see the rapping performances, but are just sonically, like what Kanye had to offer on that song. Yeah. It, it's a generation. The rawness song. of the yeah, vocals. No, 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 like, no, for sure not. You really feel like a degree of pain just because of how vulnerable he is on that song. So, Absolutely. yeah, Love Lockdown is going to move on. And now, the next side for this round, we have Money Trees going up against Stronger. Yeah, that's Money Trees. That's Money Trees. <laughs> all day, all night, <laughs> yeah, baby. No Come on. This round two has been fucking butter. It's been butter except for, no, it's been butter all across. No, no way. Are um, you serious? There we go. Okay. okay. So now we now Spaceship have... Spaceship versus Wesley's theory. This, this is, gonna is be a this, matchup. This is a big one. This is a big fucking matchup. Um, it's tough just because, like, for me, not only does, like, Wesley's theory work on as a song on its own, but, like, it's the, it's the perfect tone setter for Timothy Butterfly. Bro. It is. It really is. Um, the Dr. Dre interlude just ties in years and decades worth of like West Coast hip hop. Um, damn, I think it's Wesley's theory. <sighs> well, don't do this to me, bro. I think it's Wesley's theory, bro. We're going with Wesley's theory on this. Why? Okay, no, make the argument for Spaceship. I want to hear it. Yeah, none of the rapping performances are on par with Kendrick's on Wesley's theory. Is I the do... production on par? No. Not really. Yeah, you can't. No, no, no. It's Wesley's There's theory. nothing we could do. Yeah, yeah, nothing... I feel bad to see it go. <laughs> no, but... you can't. Yeah, Spaceship is... Listen, at the end of the day, though, we have an even balance all across the board. Can't tell me nothing versus Rigor Mortis as much as I love Rigor Mortis. It's time for it yeah, to... Yeah, it's, it's time for it to go. Absolutely. For it to take its bow. That's all for right, sure. So let's put that in there. You're gonna have a crazy matchup, Lou. If I think, if I if I know where this is going, because can't tell me nothing might go against the hard part five, depending on what you do with this Hey Mama mm. versus part five pick. So yeah, Hey Mama versus part five. This is actually a challenging one, bro. 
I mean, I, I, I get chills every time I listen to Hey Mama. Um, him rapping about, like, his mom having to work late nights to support him, how she never put any man over him in her life. Like, even, like, listening to it now in the context after Don this passing, it just hits yeah. you even harder knowing how close the relationship was. I think I'm going to go Hey Mama on this one. Really? I think I'm going to go Hey Mama oh. on this one. It's it's a heart wrencher, you know? It really is. And I understand the excellence of the hard part five, but, you know, I, like, I, it's it's so hard. Like, I think about my mother every single time I listen to this song. I know. It's, like, I, super relatable. It's super relatable. No, it's, it gets it's a you on beautiful that front. song. No, we're going Hey Mama The, the, the dreamy this. xylophone solo it's and the production. Like, the production the stacks up to it. You could say that. It's Hey Mama. But the hard part five, bro. Lou, get it out of here. I'm sorry. It's okay, but, but, okay, but just agree with me that writing-wise, bro. It's, it's different, though. It's because, yes, you could say that the pen is a bit more excellent and refined and it's a bit more impressive, but at the end of the day, like, Hey Mama just hits a different chord. Hey Mama hits a different chord. I, I shed tears to the hard part five. That, yeah, that but song that, got that was me a going through. Yeah, but that was a Kendrick return. That yeah. had something to do with the Kendrick return. It no, did. Hey Mama's going through, bro. I Let's, don't know if it is, bro. You're making it seem like it's set in stone. It's not that easy. Fuck, okay, take your time. The rapping performance is, is stellar. Um, fuck, man. This is tough. You know what? Yeah, we'll just do it, bro. Come on. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go with Hey Mama, but Nick, I want to know where you, where you would have gone if I brought hey it to Mama. Yeah, there you there go. go. Yeah, sure. I, I, ultimately, Hey Mama for sure. All right, let's All go right, on to round goes. three. So this is gonna start getting interesting. Devil in a New Dress versus Duckworth. Is Duckworth? Oh, gonna, shit. Is Duckworth gonna be the song to trump to trump what's happening right now? Because if Duckworth wins, then technically, technically speaking. A Kendrick Lamar song is gonna win this bracket. Yeah, is it? Is, 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 well, is it like strong hey Mama enough? is not gonna like start beating Money Trees, I don't think. Um, but is Devil in a New Dress superior? I think production wise, I probably still go with Devil in a New Dress. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so it, it gets that side of it. Rapping performance wise, oh, it's Kendrick for sure on Duckworth. The rapping performance and the content matters better on it. So it's like. What do you what do you value, man? I guess it's a toss up. There's no explanation for this. There's like, no explanation. It's a behemoth of a matchup. It's two behemoths. Um, but you know what it is? It's like, yes, the, the writing and the rapping is incredible from Kendrick, but Rose's verse is, is often overlooked. Like, there's metaphors woven into that verse, bro. Like, there's yeah, but no, serious, we're not gonna start, yeah, we're not gonna serious start, bars. No, no, no. But th we're not gonna start comparing that. We know where this is going. Um, I, I, I think I'm gonna go devil, devil in a new dress with this one. Oh, you are. I think so. I, I, I am too. Yeah, okay. I, I, I think so. It, it would just be like I thought you were edging the other way. Maybe if this was like a fear versus a devil in a new yeah. dress, you know. But I could even argue that Duckworth is on the same level, if not better. But at the end of the day, that, that's it. This was probably the the, the tightest, maybe up to this point. Uh, tightest? That's debatable. I mean, I kind of knew where I was going with it before this. Oh, all right. I was just letting you ramble. <laughs> I was just like, fuck it. Go for it. You, you, you didn't seem fucking yeah. that confident either. That was okay. I kind of knew Anyways, where I was going. Anyways, all right. I, so that one new dress. There it all is. All right. All right versus uh, Love Lockdown. Listen, I love Love Lockdown, but All Right's going to be cool. All Right's going to go through. Absolutely. I don't think there's much to be said there. All right. So let me just add this in. Listen, man, at the end of the day, look what we have right now. Okay. The, the semifinals going into this next one is Devil and Rujas versus All Right. And the way that this next one's going to progress is going to be even more interesting. So yeah. let's see what let's we have. See right? where so we go. Money Trees versus Wesley's Theory. Listen, I love Wesley's Theory, but, but get, get, get Money Trees in there, bro. Just get it in there. Why? Just get it in there. I could argue that the rapping performances from Kendrick are still on par with the ones from Wesley's Theory. I prefer the production, the J-Rock feature. Um, arguably, like, you think it's his best ever album, and, like, it's arguably the best ever song on that album right next to Sing About Me. So, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the, the atmospheric sounds, the reverse sample by Dahi. <sighs> I'm going Money Trees on this one. I feel like a lot of people are going to look at us, at us crazy for that, because I even said, I gave the take that Wesley's Theory is my favor and what i think is the best song off of uh to a butterfly but ultimately song for song though but yeah you could even say wesley's theory listen you want to go with no, i'm only money trees i'm only money trees because i could go either way on that matchup like it's really in the upper echelon of this i don't catalog. know if i've ever been like torn on this many matchups before in a bracket though like ultimately like i know where, where, where my heart lies but i've been torn on a lot of these but yeah money trees is gonna go through so that leaves us can't here. tell me nothing versus hey mama mm. two kanye songs <laughs> it's hey mama it's Hey Mama. I don't yeah, think like, so, bro. The writing's a lot more emotional. The production's just on par, if me, not better. It's like, what? but 
if, if I had to delete one of the songs out of the catalog, in my opinion, because I know how much you love this song, I'm getting out Can't Tell Me Nothing. Hey, Mama's going to stay, bro. To me, it's, it's, it's a it, generational it's like, song. Yeah, and so is Can't Tell Me Nothing, bro. Like, that is Kanye's walkout song every time. It's the song that fans go craziest for till this day. To me, the whole la, 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 that, that's still the better hook in comparison to Hey Mama's, which is a beautiful hook. Um, Kanye's performance to me is more preferable, getting all that energy from him. I'm more engaged from start to finish with Can't Tell Me Nothing. I'm going Can't Tell Me Nothing. I'm going to go Hey Mama. Nick, all right, there we go. Hmm. Let me let me think for like five seconds. Are you guys sure? Bo- like, you guys both yeah, sure with your picks? I'm, I'm all the way locked in on this, bro. Like, come on. What would you ever play in, in, in the whip, bro? What are you playing in the whip? It's can't tell me nothing. There we go. I, I, I'd go. Well, yeah, but the ox conversation in this is just a bit. I don't know. I, it, I don't it's get... part of the wheelhouse of like <laughs> what you not. decide upon. It's really not. Anyways, okay. Devil and Ujes versus All Right. Devil and Ujes versus All Right. <laughs> Am I crazy to say Devil in your dress? Uh... That's where I want to go. <laughs> That's where I want to fucking go, man. What are you saying? Ant is currently bamboozled. What are you saying, bro? By the way, would you just admit it to me that I won these won, won that free smoke all these years later with the TPAB versus MBDTF? What do you mean? You, you remember you were on the MBDTF side? I was on the TPAB side for that. Okay, free but smoke? it's nothing to do with the match. No, if you're no, just no. Saying, yeah, oh. you could just admit it all these years later. Again, they both strive in different areas, bro. Shut your mouth. They bro. both strive in different <laughs> Which areas. Which one made your top ten albums of all time? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Fuck yeah. off. That's why I already admitted it, bro. Why are you trying to just fucking? You're trying to like go deeper with the knife. You know what I mean? Um, uh, fuck. Anyways, the listen. What are you uh, saying, it's, it's, man? It's, it's is... hard to get all right out of here, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. It is, but it's definitely a new dress for me. I, again, like, w- what was the more impactful, more important song? It's obviously all right. But I'm just looking, musically speaking, like, Devil in a New Dress just does it for me. I guess that, so. No, but if you're not sure, bro, bring it to Nick. It's fine. Bring it on. <laughs> Nick's ready, bro. Bring it on. He wants to slide in. What are you saying? I, I know exactly what I, I may just be on your side, Ant. <laughs> like yeah, Devil bro, you know where you're going. Just try it out. Just try it out. Just try it out for the Fox. Come on. <laughs> just say all Test right. your luck. All right, Nick. All right, bro. What do you got, bro? Devil in a new dress. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I already knew. I, was, I wasn't even going to bring this. That was a slap to the face. Um, okay, there we go. Devil in a new dress is in the finals, right? That's what that means? Yeah, but we kind of knew that, though. From the whole side, eh? Well, as soon as we got to the first matchup, like the first one was Mad City versus Devil in a new dress. I mean, you knew it was going to be one of those two, yeah. Listen, Devil in a new dress took out Diamonds from Sierra Leone. It took out Mad City. Um, it ended up taking out Duckworth. Mm-hmm. It just took out all right, man. Like it, it's hard to beat that song. It really is. Yeah. But let's see, Money Trees versus Can't Tell Me Nothing. I'm gonna go Money Trees. I'm gonna go Money Trees. I mean, as much as I love Can't Tell Me Nothing, I've said it before. It's a top ten favorite song of mine of all time. Um, Money Trees is is the better song. It, it really I, I thought is. you were gonna put a more of a fight besides that. Right. Why? No. I'm, because well, you're such a big fan of the song. I I love Money Trees as well. Like. They're it's two true. of my favorite songs ever. That's fine. Okay, Devil in a Dress versus Money Tree. I'm happy that it ended up being a Kendrick versus Kanye. Well, you Kanye. know what? If you look at the total bracket, it's kind of been split all the way around. We've had it has equal been. amount of songs from both artists kind of make their way through the end of it, you know? Let me ask you this. If you had to do, you think, let's say, a top 10 or top 15 combined songs, Kanye and Kendrick. Oh, that's a good question. Who would have, like, more shares? I think, I think ultimately Kendrick, in my opinion. Because yeah, if you so got Sing About Me, you'd have to put how much a dollar costs. You'd have to put a Fear. You'd have to put a Duckworth. And then, like, you'd start considering the devil in a new dress. They can't tell me nothing. So, like, you'd have some songs in there. W- w- okay, what was the biggest Kanye song or the best Kanye song that was left off? Runaway, of course. Yeah, right. Because the Runaway and the Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst would have just, like, would have been sweeps. Yeah, well, they, not, they maybe not blown. Runaway, because Runaway didn't even make it to the final. Yeah, they didn't even make it that far in our, in our Kanye Well, bracket. that was just because of the way that the bracket kind of fell into place. Yeah. And we said Devil in a New Dress was going to advance. Uh, but ultimately, Devil in a New Dress versus Money Trees. Um, if you ask me which song I prefer and just which song I bumped more over the years, it's always going to be Money Trees. And if I were to let, you know, kind of my bias take the wheel here. I, I don't want that, though. <laughs> Leave it at home, bro. Leave the bias I'm, I'm at home. I'm putting the bias in this one. It's Money Trees. Okay, but bias aside, though, like just looking at, let's say, the rapping my performances, is, the my production. Bi- my bias is No, but I'm, I'm asking, you as, the, the, I'm asking the, you as a music reviewer, have, what do you think is the better song? I, I don't give persona- a fuck about what, what you listen to more per- in high school, bro. I don't care. Yeah. In this, per- in this context. Per- personify my bias. He's writing back at me right now, and he's telling me, Money Trees, Money Trees, Money Trees, Money Trees. It's the voice in your head? Yeah, it's the voice in my head. Um... 
Uh, well, okay, I'll actually give an explanation for it. I, I think the rapping performances from both the features are probably on par, but I'm still siding with J-Rock. Production's better on Devil in a New Dress, but that's still arguable. I think that Money Tree sample flip was fucking genius. And then when I got a way out, Kendrick's performance and Kanye's performance, I'm going Kendrick. Th th that's just where I'm at with it. Like, if I have to, like, kind of be a prick with it, I'm going Money Tree. It's tough it. because, yeah, like you were saying, J-Rock and Rosé, those are two top 10 rap they kind of equal each other but those are two top 10 rap features of that of that decade um production wise is devil in a new dress without a doubt even though i love the beat on money trees um kendrick does get kanye performance wise so it's, it's a big tie it it's, is it, it's a big toss-up um ultimately the hook the hook is better on money. Better on money trees. The quotables. Do you even have a hook on Devil in a New Dress? I don't even know if you have a hook. The the quotables on money trees. The Halle Berry or Hallelujah. The one that, the one in front of the gunless forever. Like, it's money trees. Yeah, there is. It's yeah, money trees, bro. Put your hands up to the constellation. The way you look, it should be a yeah, sin. Yeah, it should be a sensation. Yeah. That's a sick hook, though. But yeah, money trees. No, is gonna money win the trees is gonna fucking win this. Fuck Absolutely. yeah, man. And, Fuck yes. Absolutely. And, and I remember like when the album first came out, like. That was actually the one song off of Good Kid, Mad City that I remember us bumping the most together as well. Oh, like that was dude, that was the one. We're, we're going to California soon. What do you think I'm bumping there? It's gonna be all Fuck this. Yeah, it's gonna be this. So listen, Money Trees is gonna win. But what do you guys think happens if we put Runaway and Sing About Me? I'm dying of thirst in this bracket. What do you guys think happens? Or maybe if we take the best sixteen from each catalog and we put them together, what do you think ends up? Yeah, winning? should we do a part two to should this? Should we do a part or two to this? Which other rappers should we see go up head to head? Let us know down in the comments. And guys, as always, thank you so much for coming in. Smash that like button and that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And hit the notification bell if you don't ever want to miss another video ever again. Thank you guys so much for sticking throughout the entire video. And we'll see you soon. Peace.